Okay, so um, before we do other things, uh, let's create a restriction map. And mostly tosses where allowed the player to go across or go like on top of hill or other things. You may create different one, but I just want to show you how we can create from what we already have. And usually we just can take from file output and uh, kind of create selection on the height. So for example, let's go to selector. We'll just select height. And we'll go select to this area. And right there you can see the map. However, this is not total accurate map because we have some erosion applied and we have some additional elements. And maybe you have some also restrictions. For example, um, area with water or low. So if we can go to selector height in this case, we can actually set and with you know what, let's go move all the way here. And this way is look a little bit different. If you notice it's a little bit wider some areas. And because remember we modified, we add some rocks, flow, and maybe you don't want people come close to the top. So in this case you can modify how far you want people come. And also, if you have the water sources, like in this case, we can say, hey, they cannot go in this deep water area with a flood. So we can set those restrictions on what we render before. Um, also, because with the river, you know, we maybe even want to go more far into there and create like deep area right there with the water in the areas. So for example, right here, we can say, okay, this is where the water will be. They cannot go inside the water. Again, this is optional. But the problem is now we have these breaks in line and mostly where the river going and everything. So we want to actually use a combiner for this. And we'll take our combiner. We'll take our input, first one. So we'll add to our combiner and we'll take our second input. Now let's go to set. Um, we can work between mix, min and max to set our values. Uh, notice right here we have an element because this is need to be inverted. So we'll go select inverted and put it on top. So now we will have it as a mean. There you go. So we have it our original and we overlaying. You can see how it's overlaying some elements. So let's go preview this point. Okay, we'll go with our combiner and right here there we have it combiner add elements and mostly right in Run because we have those add on. Okay. So how I say this is very simple forward and we can go create just some color. Connect to our color. Let's select just any mask. It doesn't really matter at this point. And right here have it our color. Of course, um, let's do one more thing. We set inverter inside here. So our color will apply just on those areas. And we'll just keep it bright orange for this one. So here's our restriction area, the restriction map we kind of created where the player cannot going. Of course, in this case, it's not as will work in this map because they will be stuck <laughs> somewhere around there. They cannot cross from one area to another. Um, for this one, we can go, okay, let's, let's lock this preview. And of course, we can go inside, you know, and just uh, modify some of this area and I think this is maybe one meter. Yeah, that one may create one, 
two meters. A little bit too much. Now let's just disable overall because how it's created, I think it's a little bit too thin. So if we create this restriction map, people cannot just cross through. Um, but we could just create water area as well. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to disable that one. We still have it right expanded text restriction applied to those areas right there maybe like right there okay and um let's go to unlock this device we'll go create another selector we'll go with this the height selector and we actually want to put this height selector output from um our switch because that one will help us to select our liquid water. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, our height. Generate. Okay, generation. Let's go create water color. And we'll just connect to masking. Again, because we are masking just to view, we probably don't need this, but for now I'll just add inverter. And here is our water map as well. Okay, so we have a restriction map, we have the water map, liquid. Okay, we um, let's create few more of those okay and we do have right here our wetness map what we use it so we can actually remove this put it wetness map here okay this is our temperature which we actually still need working on this and no this is our high field so in the high field actually need go from the switch now okay let's delete here okay I just don't know there you go okay so this is our high field shape terrain okay and this is our temperature we're going place right there and this is probably next what we're going to now work on our um, temperature connection right there, there you go so let's do um, work a little bit with this in uh, and uh, connect them to winter fall or whatever to other all of this uh, in next tutorial